Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Jen. The channel is Faith Made Legacy. Okay, so um, today I'm interviewing Pierre Ingram. So, Pierre, how are you today? I'm doing good. How are you? I am doing well. Um, so let's talk a little bit. Um, first of all, I want to talk about... Um, a lot of stuff, um, some stuff that we both have in common. Um, as you know, a lot of the stuff on the channel and a lot of the stuff that I focus on is like mental health and addiction. Um, also God. And um, I want to talk about you and a lot of the stuff we have in common there and a little bit of your journey and a lot of the stuff that you do right now. Um I just want to start off by saying that Pierre is not only an entrepreneur, but he is a published author um, with poetry. Um, he has a YouTube channel, a podcast, and we'll get into all that. And we will also link all that stuff down below for you guys to check Pierre out. Um, I think some of my subscribers might actually know about you, but a lot of them don't. So um, let's get started. So how old are you, Pierre, if you want to tell? <laughs> Oh, I'm 38 and getting younger. <laughs> getting younger, yes. All right, I like that. Um, so I guess uh, I'll start off by saying that I um, have read your first book, um, which is, is called New Life Poetry. Is that correct? Okay. Yep. And that is also like your brand. You have some merch and stuff right now, if I'm correct. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and a really cool, uh, really cool, um, logo, logo. I was trying to think of graphic logo, whatever. Um, and you, I know that you just received like some of your stuff and everything like that. So that kind of goes along with the cover of the first book, which I read. Um, and I want to talk about that a little bit, but I also do want to say that you have just recently come out with a second book, um, and it's called, what is it called? I Bleed Through This Ink. I Bleed Through This Ink, and um, I have not read that one. I will be reading that soon, definitely, and um, I think that one is uh, about addiction, if I'm correct. Yeah, it's about, um, it's about a sp your spiritual journey. It's about uh, going through uh, addiction and past experiences that may be a ob that was an obstacle, and it's just in a poetry form. I'm just telling stories in poetry form. Yes. Not so that was um, what I read in New Life Poetry, which is the first one, and I was like super floored. Um, I've always known that you write poetry and that you also like stand up and present your poetry um at different venues and stuff like that um where you're from you and I are from different states um yeah. and I like I said was super floored when I read new life poetry so um there are so many different aspects to it um and it is like you said all poetry but like I I really it, it was way better than I was expecting I'll just be real and honest you know what I mean I I knew that it was your gift and we've talked about how it was your purpose and everything like that writing and poetry and everything but I couldn't believe it um like you said it's a series I think it's the same as you were just explaining about your second book. It's a series of, you know, poetry that tells yeah. a story, but yeah. it really, really does. And your poetry is amazing. And then we're getting into um, the way it's laid out. It's kind of started if I, I probably won't remember exactly correctly, but I feel like it started with some trauma that you went through. Yeah. Um, and it just like flows, like it seemed like, you know, each page is kind of like, is a poem, but it's really a story. Like, I mean, it's definitely a gift. I don't know how you do that. It's definitely something that comes, you know, from God and, you know, from this journey that you're on, like, it's just amazing. Um, so 
you start with some trauma that you went through um, when you were very, very young. So that's where it starts. Um, I don't know if you want to talk about that at all. Um, but I mean, that's, you know, it was, it's basically childhood, childhood trauma, you know, um, stuff that unfortunately, you know, a lot of us go through, um, you know, and you get detailed into it. It's not something that you hold back. Um, I'm not sure when you started talking about it publicly, but it seems like it's something that has helped you kind of set free and start your journey a little bit. I'll let you speak from there a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was a, a, a addict, a drug addict and an alcoholic trying to hide from um, past trauma. Cause usually drug addicts and stuff trying to hide from things and try to, uh, you know, like, cover cover it up what they've been through so i just been through like childhood trauma i was molested when i was five years old but you know what that would bring me into poetry that would bring me closer to poetry to my gift because god will always give you a gift when satan try to give you a curse or something bad but god give you a gift to, to overcome that and I actually like, you know, it was hard for my family to talk about for, you know, or when I even would talk about it when I was a kid, I act like it didn't happen and stuff. I guess it was hard, it was hard for them to face it. Face it. Like maybe they felt guilty or something or ashamed or something. But now that I'm grown, I don't even feel the shame. I could just talk, I could talk about it. Because uh, that's a part of sharing sharing your story, though. You know, you got to share your story. Like, I'm not ashamed. I was a kid, you know? I'm not ashamed. I forgave. I forgive who I forgive him who did that to me. And I forgive uh, myself for, like, hiding from who, who I am or what happened. Because that made me who I am today, mm -hmm. right? One that's that doesn't do anything like that. Just because it happened to me, I was like, you know what? <clears throat> I despise that type of stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I'm always protecting kids and stuff like that. And that's like something that I'm really wanna do. Like <clears throat> I wanna start like a, um, I wanna write a book about that. Like kids that have been through molestation mm -hmm to help kids you know and or not even the kids but their parents deal with the situation too because they try to I know from for personal experience that adults try to um, act like it didn't happen act like it didn't yeah. you can do that though because that's just making the situation worse acting like it never happened definitely when did, when were you when did you find yourself actually able to talk about it and to share your story Mm, I'm assuming this, like you talked yeah. about it with your family first and no, then we never really talked about it you know okay. but I, I still never really talked to about them my dad and mom passed away now so <clears throat> you know I well, my dad used to talk about it sometimes and he would be really angry talking about it right and I That's guess he talked Oh, mom. It, it's got to be hard as a parent. You know what I mean? That would be an awesome book. Um, I was going to get to that later, but I uh, I was already thinking, I'm sure you're already working on your third book or ideas for it or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but um, so, yeah, sharing your story is really important in order to become like, you know, to to come into your gift and your journey and everything like that. Um, but you say there was those years where you were, um, where you went, where you suffered from addiction and everything else. So you yeah. suffer. Vital tendencies too. Like when I was a kid, I used to try to kill myself a lot. Mm -hmm. 
think I was about like, I don't know, 12, 13. Tried to slip my wrist a couple of times, stuff like that. <clears throat> Cause I was, had a lot of anger. Yeah. 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 The kid don't know how to process that type of stuff. No, a lot of, I can relate to that, like anger, resentment, um, you know, and then, so it starts with trauma generally. And, um, you know, then comes anger, resentment and addiction, um, self-medication, whatever, you know, seems to almost always be, um, seems to almost always follow trauma. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, there's so much stigma around it and everything else, you know, of it, you know, whether uh, it's really something that is uh, an actual choice, you know what I mean, which of course it is, but these are the things that are leading up to it, you know, so you're originally suffering from this trauma, and then you go through to suffer addiction, because um, addiction is one of the most at least I can speak for myself as one of the most painful and difficult things, you know, and um, one of the worst hells to go through. So, you know, there's a lot of people that uh, dehumanize addicts and things like that. But, you know, if only they knew, you know what I mean? So, um, but if you're, you know, blessed enough like yourself and myself to recover and to be able to um, move on, it really brings you into your purpose and your passion and, you know, just who you are. And um, I think it even goes a further step, like you were saying earlier, to actually tell your story, yeah. you know? Dedicate your life to help other people by sharing your story for they won't feel just in case someone else out there been through the same thing that you've been through that they won't have to feel alone that they know that somebody been through that same situation before and they're sharing their story to be able to help other people get through their story and it's these stories that we tell that's real that help people step into into their purpose without feeling ashamed and feeling um, outcast by the world or by just because they're addicts, but nobody knows the backstory. Like, right. and honestly, back- oh, I'm sorry. Nobody, yeah. no, I know. And as you're doing this, um, at least in my case, it's super therapeutic for me too. And it's actually, you know, helping. And then, you know, I'm a parent, so it's making me a better parent. You know what I mean? It's just a spiral effect. It's it's a really good thing to share your story. Um, and the reason that I'm touching on that is because, you know, if people are hearing us right now and things like that, that have, you know, secrets hidden or still trying to, you know, it, it, you know, and that's just why I fight so much for you know stigma and for all that kind of stuff because um it's really hard you know it's it's really hard when you're being judged for you know self-medicating or addiction and this and that or um you know mental health like um for people to look down on people that you know have suicidal thoughts or you know things like that it's just it's beyond me but um you know, I just want for people to know, you know, that that's not, um, that's not how everybody is. And, uh, and yeah, they're not alone. You know, um, I spent most of my life, like really sheltered by my family and really judged and, you know, everything like that. And, So I just want to make sure now that as many people as I can reach don't feel that way. You know, um, it's hard for people to recover, even if they don't fall into addiction, even if, you know, even just from the, um, from what these 
this trauma will do whatever it will whatever it it's because it's going to do something and you're not just going to go through trauma as a child or trauma at any point and just be totally fine and you know never have any repercussions you know so um yeah <laughs> relationships with different people is after that relationships with anybody like you have trust issues yeah these other things that you're not even aware of because it's a uh, it's like hits you on a subconscious level to where it like rip, digs deep into your soul and right? it feels like your soul's been ripped apart but you know god is amazing so he puts you back together and it's just these baby steps towards the future that brings us into like doing something big to share share your story in a phenomenal way to where everyone attracts to it. Like, wow, he's been through that and he could be able to share it like that. <laughs> then other give other people courage to share their stories. Yeah. You don't even know who's listening or who's watching. Right, right. Your vulnerable, vulnerability, you know, is, um, could be, somebody's life, somebody's, you know, turning point, somebody's anything. Um, so again, your first book is called New Life Poetry. Um, and you kind of explained how it is a series of poems. I kind of explained it, but I just want to say from my experience that there's no way for me to explain like how awesome it was in my opinion. Um, you know, uh, and the next one, which I haven't read yet, which is, um, I believe through this ink. Um, I definitely encourage, you know, anyone who's watching and wants to hear more about Pierre's story, um, more about what he's been through, more about how he's, you know, found, um, the peace that he has right now. And, uh, the forgiveness, you know, which is a really big thing for a lot of people because it's very important to move on, you know? Um, and so I'm going to definitely link all, both of those books. Um, I know that you have some social media, so I will link that. I believe you have a podcast going on right now too, that I am supposed to come on, right? Yeah. So all of this is going to be in the description, you guys. Um, and I'll just say one last thing. And that is that I kind of, you know, um, you know, Pierre and I have talked before this and we're both kind of like on the same idea of, you know, this sharing your story and advocating and, you know, fighting stigma and everything else. But I really have to say that you really do inspire me. Um, as far as forgiveness and resentment and everything like that, you know, I just still think it's like pretty amazing the extent to where you are. Um, I believe that your sober time is even less than mine. And, um, and I think that, you know, I learn a lot from you even. So I, I definitely, you know, encourage people to, uh, you know, check out what Pierre is doing, link up with him, connect with him if you, if you need to. Um, um, there's a lot of ways to reach out to you and things like that. Absolutely. And we're going to link them all. And we're definitely going to do a podcast together on your right. podcast. Definitely. And is there anything else that you want to say before we leave here? I just want to say God bless everyone. And step into your gift. Your purpose is already inside of you. All you have is all you need. Because God put everything that you need inside of you where you can't miss it. So that's it. <laughs> Amen. Well, I am grateful that I have crossed paths with you and that I get to continue learning from you and, um, you know, being entertained by all the gifts that you are putting out there and everything else and um keep doing what you're doing um i'm super grateful for having you on the channel thank you so much and um again you guys uh i thank you guys for watching this 
one more time my name is jen the channel is faith made legacy um please smash the like button if you are watching if you enjoyed this content um if you have anything you want to say in the comments to pierre or a, about anything that you saw in this video um or any suggestions for future videos go ahead and comment on that and if you have not subscribed please hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so that you guys are notified every time I'm going live or I upload and everyone have an awesome day. Thank you.